you doing, my friends? Welcome to the Joven Shower Channel, where we cover all things video games, comic books, TV shows, movies, all things geeky here in one place. And I'm wearing the blue blazer, so that must mean just one thing, that it is time for News from the Shire! Get it? Because my name's the Joven Shire, and I, I like to talk about news. Now, this week's going to be a little bit different, because I don't have laser corn here this week. We don't have, like, a full breakdown of all the geeky news from the week that you need to know about. It's been a very busy week for all of us. And I didn't even know if we were going to be able to get this episode out today. So this is kind of a like a like a news from the Shire light version where we're just going to be covering a few topics that I definitely wanted to talk about this week before we jumped into next week when I think we're going to be getting a lot of video game news. And the reason that we didn't cover news last week is that because right now in the United States there's a lot of stuff that deserves our time and attention and I felt weird covering all the news from the week you needed to know about and not covering that. So even though we are touching on some news right now, I do want everyone to know that there is a massive movement happening right now in the United States and I hope that it doesn't slow down and I hope that it continues and it keeps on going until we have massive change. But with that said, let's cover some of the other non-important news that happened this week that you gotta know about. So first up on the list is all about the PS5 reveal event. Yes, we gotta see what the new PlayStation look like and how it's gonna fall in love with Wally really, really soon and it's adorable, but we also gotta look at and tease of a few upcoming titles. Biggest surprise for me was Spider-Man Miles Morales. Yes, it looks like it's continuing the story of the PlayStation Spider-Man game, which I gave a 10 out of 10 in my non-existent review, but boy did I love that game. And in that story, it actually does show that Miles Morales winds up getting the spider powers as well. And this game that is coming this holiday season, presumably to the PS5, of course, is going to continue that story, but now you will be playing as Miles Morales. Now, as you may or may not know, Spider-Man Miles Morales has different powers than Spider-Man Peter Parker. So I think that we will be seeing a lot of new abilities pop up in the gameplay, and that's gonna be pretty fun. But here's where the news gets a little interesting. Because this game has a release date of holiday 2020, I don't think that this is a full-on sequel from the first Spider-Man game. Myself and a lot of other people on the internet are talking about how this is probably just going to be a standalone expansion, so maybe a four-hour game for a $30 to $40 price tag to kind of give you the next chapter of the story. Because those of you who remember the end of the first PlayStation Spider-Man game, it kind of left us on a cliffhanger where maybe Harry Osborn was going to be a new Venom of sorts. So this doesn't look like it's going to continue that story. This is just Miles Morales is now a Spider-Man and you will be able to play a story. So I think it will be a standalone version uh, of this game. I don't think you'll need the first Spider-Man game. Maybe you will, but I think it's just going to be an expansion of the story, not a full sequel. And with that said, because it's holiday, I also don't think it's going to be an exclusive to PS5. I believe that it will be playable on the PS4, but 100% if you can play it on the PS5, do it. This game is going to be beautiful. It's going to be fun to be swinging around in those glorious graphics, so highly recommend it. Can't wait for it. And speaking of Miles Morales news, we go from video game news to movie news because this week we found out that Into the Spider-Verse 2 is actually going into production this week. It has a release date going all the way, not 2021, but 2022, and production has started now. Now, the movie was announced a little while ago, and even before that, we knew we were going to get one, and even a spin-off movie. I think that two years to try to pull off this movie is maybe a shorter time period than I thought they were going to give it. I would think it needs three years, but in 2022, we will be getting the sequel to Into the Spider-Verse 2. This is awesome because Into the Spider-Verse might be my favorite superhero movie of all time. Now, Endgame is still up there. It's so good. Okay, it goes Endgame into the Spider-Verse. It's that damn good. So I'm excited to be seeing the sequel. I hope we get more Spider-Man Noir because he's awesome. And with the Spider-Man Miles Morales news and the Into the Spider-Verse news as well, I think we should talk about the fact that Sony's doing a big thing with Miles Morales right now and we shouldn't ignore it. The fact that he's getting his own video game, the fact that we're getting like this sequel to this big blockbuster animated feature starring him, I think that Sony is trying to put a lot more attention on Miles Morales, try to make him more of a household name to the same level as Peter Parker because they have his rights. I think that in the near future, in the next five to 10 years, Miles Morales is gonna have his own trilogy of movies 
at Sony. I think this is what they're building up to. I think they're just trying to make him a common household name so that they can give him a trilogy of movies that everybody wants to see. And if that is what they're doing, I can't wait. I think that it's a great story to be told and I want to see what they do with it. All right, we got video game news. We've got some movie news. Now into the TV news. Now this one maybe not appeal to all of you guys, but oh my God, I'm so excited. One of my favorite shows that I talk about all the time on Twitter and even on my Discord. Go follow the link down below to join uh, in the TV area discussion. I like to always bring up the fact that I love Zoe's Extraordinary Playlist. It is on NBC. It just finished up its first season a few weeks ago. I've been watching it on Hulu, so if you want to watch it, that's where you can watch it as well. Anyways, they are officially getting a second season and I couldn't be more excited. It's one of my favorite um, written comedies right now because of how meta they get. For those of you that don't know the story, it's this girl that goes into, uh, uh, I think a CAT scan, and there's like a power outage, electrical storm kind of thing, and she gets these powers where she can hear people's innermost thoughts um, by them singing a song uh, that reflects their emotions. On paper, sounds a little weird. The way that they do it, super cool. Is the science make any sense? Absolutely not, but it's so good. Plus it's got like the love interest from Pitch Perfect and he's amazing. I was gonna say dreamy and amazing and you know, he's both of those things combined. He's dream amazing. New word, coined it, and he's that. Anyways, so season two is happening. If you haven't already, go watch that show. It's that good. Go watch Zoe's Extraordinary Playlist. And finally, to wrap up the news from the week that I think you really need to know about, actually comes from a leaked image. Uh, so it's not like official official, but I think it'll be official official next week. Looks like we are getting a new Star Wars game called Star Wars Squadrons. Now, as a big fan of the GameCube and N64, I loved Star Wars Rogue Squadron. As a big fan of Battlefront 2, uh, Battlefront 2 Space Combat, uh, I love the idea of, you know, maybe a new Rogue Squadron game with that form of space battle all together in the same game. I am all for it. All right, looks like I'm not the only one excited to talk about the Star Wars Squadron. Apparently EA is as well. In the time of filming this video, uh, they have since tweeted that this coming Monday, they're going to have a live stream where they premiere this game. So they tweeted about it, it's happening, the image is out there this Monday. So I think next week is gonna be a really big video game news week. So be sure to tune in here to this channel because we're gonna be talking about all of it next week on News from the Shire. But now I wanna to talk to you guys. Are you excited about Star Wars Squadron? What do you think the game is gonna be like? Let me know in the comments below. Also, let me know how you feel about the rest of the stories that we talked about. Are you watching Zoe's? What, are you gonna be playing Spider-Man Miles Morales? And is where in your favorite superhero movies lies into the Spider-Verse? Because I wanna compare with you. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. Because uh, if you like this video, I guarantee you're gonna like the other videos that we do here. Like the video and all that jazz. And we got more content for you coming next week. So till the next time, I'll see you later. Thank you so much for watching this video today. If you need some more Joven Shire in your life, we have two videos there on the right. And don't forget to subscribe because if you like this video, I guarantee you're going to like the other stuff that we do here. And if you get a chance, go ahead and follow me on Twitter and Instagram because we create a lot of content there that doesn't always make it to YouTube. Go check it out.